Alrighty then. Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday. I forgot what day it was for a second. I, I almost thought it was Tuesday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. The time feels like a bit of a blur right now, so just, just bear with me. I'm feeling okay. I'm just like, I don't know. I'm feeling like very blah and unmotivated. So trying to motivate myself to like get up and do stuff was just not happening. I like exuded a lot of energy earlier today, like catching up with family and stuff. And now I'm just like, <sighs> so you guys get like a super chill, no makeup, me just vibing a little stream. I don't know if we'll stream for a long time or whatnot tonight. Probably just a short stream, but probably go till like maybe 12-ish. Just a quick little one. Um, kind of like yesterday, how we didn't go as long. But I was really looking forward to opening this package on stream. So I was like, screw it. I'm going to at least do that and we can try out this game. And then, um, and then I'll see how I feel from there, you know? But hi, Tail. Hi, Fire. Dusky, welcome in. Did I ever tell you the definition? I did do something today, though. I did do something today. I don't know if anyone's noticed. Also, Twisted, thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And Lycan, I saw that you came back to streaming. I did see your post. I'm so happy you're back. I hope you're good. If you are lurking and you hear this. Not that you need to respond, but Trashly, how are you, love? Sass, welcome in. It is Wednesday. Honestly, all of my days are kind of blurring right now because I'm like, I'm backlogged on work and I'm just kind of like going through the motions of things right now, you know, and only getting stuff done when I'm like feeling up to it. <sighs> so it's just one day at a time. Oh my goodness, Eric, you're so good. I appreciate you. A new game that released that day would release yesterday. Also, hi, Myers. How are you? But we're going to do an unboxing tonight. I got a package. Well, actually, I got this package, like, maybe two weeks ago now. But I had to wait till today. They said not to show any of the contents of it until today. And I was like, well, if I open this, I'm going to want to show people. So I literally left it till today. So... I have a whole package to open. I um, I mentioned this to like those on Dragon Squad, but this company, uh, Venture to the Vile, uh, well, the game is called Venture to the Vile, and they, I, I checked out the game when I was at PAX, uh, in March. I'm like, when did I go to PAX? Back in March when I went to PAX, I like stopped at their booth and I talked to their developer and I tried the game out a little bit. It gave very uh, little nightmares vibes hopefully easier than little nightmares i only played it for a couple minutes because there was like a line of people and i don't want to hold anyone up and i didn't have like an actual meeting with them so i kind of just cut people so i felt bad about it um <laughs> so i was like uh okay i'll make this quick because <laughs> like i didn't actually have a time slot i didn't want to be that person you know but and it looked really cool and then they reached out to me about wanting to send me like a care package when the game dropped and everything and i was like I feel honored. Yeah, I would love that. So we're going to open it because, you know, opening packages always makes me feel better, especially when I'm like having a downtime. So that's what we're going to do. But yeah. Hi, Optimus. How are you? Origami puzzle game called Paper Trail. That sounds actually so cute. I used to love doing origami stuff when I was younger. My, uh, my mom used to buy me all of these like booklets that would come with like the stack of origami i still have some the like stack of origami papers and then the book with like all the instructions i had so many of those growing up i love you and you are awesome saint i freaking love you thank you so much for being here everybody thank you so much thank you guys for understanding that i needed a little extra time today too it was like i don't even know what time i messaged it like 8 50 maybe a little before and I was just, like, laying on my couch, and I'm just, like, I feel like crap right now. <laughs> and I, like, just mentally do not feel like getting up and being, like, hello in the next, like, ten minutes. So I was, like, you know what? 
screw it. I'm just going to give myself an extra half hour to just kind of like decompress and like have some water and just chill. So, you know, I did just that. I'm allowing myself to give myself some grace right now, which I don't do very often. And for those of you that have been here for a while, you definitely know that. I don't take time off. I don't like to live stream. I don't like to change things. So I'm trying to, uh, battle my own brain right now when I'm not feeling up to things to actually give myself the time to like work through stuff. You know what I mean? So. <sighs> but yeah, we're here. I'm here for you. I'm going to support you through this difficult time. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Hi, Katie. How are you? Today wasn't a bad day. I, like, spoke with my mom more, and, um, we were kind of, we're, like, finalizing stuff for the funeral, so we're, like, getting things together, and, uh, my mom was, like, sending me pictures and stuff of him and different things that he has and, like, ideas we have for what we want to do, because the funeral is going to be, like, my mom wants it to be more of, like, a celebration and a party. It's not going to just be, like, a... She doesn't want it to be some big depressing thing if we can help it. Which I love that because he would have wanted that, you know? He wouldn't want a bunch of people just sitting around crying. <laughs> he would have been like, what are you doing? Why, why are you doing this to yourselves? So... Right? It is. I mean, I only have one package. But it's it's a cool, like package the company sent me and I I know some of the contents in here but I also they told me the contents like over a month ago so I kind of forgot so it's gonna be a surprise to my brain because <laughs> I forgot <laughs> but hi, hey you guess what chicken butt how about you I did do something today um I added a did new you hi mom Thank you for the sub. Mom, you have been subbed for two whole years. That's crazy. Thank you. And thank you for the bees wishes. It's a joy of people. It's so good. The hugs are definitely so needed right now. I was going to say if you guys. Yeah. Squeaky chair. Being squeaky. I was going to say if you guys look. You can see I added in a new animated emote. And if you drop 387 bits, there is a new alert that will pop up on stream that I added in today. That should work. Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? And there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, so yeah. 387. We I picked the, the Turtwig. Um, his, uh, oh my gosh, I can't words. Turtwig's Pokedex number. Because I feel like that was just, like, easier in my brain to, like, piece together, you know? So we've got the 387, and then I added in uh, an animated emote as well. Thank you, Fire, for doing that. <laughs> I appreciate you. Of insanity. And Sashman, thank you so much for the sub. We just started a hype train. Bam. Bam. We're like barely 10 minutes into stream. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys so much. I freaking love you all. You guys are amazing. Here we go. Sorry. My thingy, my button was broken. Wow. Move forward and to all of you on the other side. Oh, thank you, Mom. I'm doing okay right now. <laughs> Between Piplup's hugs and that new sound alert, which is just going to be <laughs> so silly. <laughs> it's hard to not laugh when I hear that and I see that. So, <sighs> yeah. So feel free to use that, that turtle animated emote in the chat whenever you're feeling froggy. I'm old and tired, so I'm gonna go lay down. Oh my goodness, no worries, Tail. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. <sighs> and then, yeah, and then we've got that stuff. So you want extra turtle on the screen at any point in time, you can redeem it.
Dear Lord, Brandy is amazing and I love her face. Hmm. And you're, you're amazing and I love your face. Thank you. Use turtle when froggy. We're going to full amphibian tonight. Oh my god. Ada ada. Hi, Ferality. I haven't done an ada ada in a little bit. <laughs> as long as no one makes you eat them nasty jelly beans. No, we're not. No. I don't even really have any left. I think I have like... At one hand, what do I have? you mean love her face. Was that necessary? Welcome to Summoner's I have Rift. this one egg that's filled with potentially gross jelly beans. Also, mostly, thank you for that, guys. Can we get the biggest of shout outs to Prince of Screams? It was mostly his birthday today. Please go give him, like, the biggest most craziest amounts of love that you can give him. I hope you had a great day today. I freaking love you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for that raid. And Shind, I love you. I love you. How are you? I hope you had a good day. Thank you guys so much for being here. I truly do feel so freaking special. Failed? Wait, what do you mean? What, what happened? I don't know. I don't know. But have any of you heard of this game yet? Venture to the Vile? Other than me talking about it? Oh, the party hat? Oh. It just came out today. What's the dang emote? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it just came out today. Uh, Like I said, I played it at PAX. So if anyone was at PAX and saw it, it was actually pretty cool. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to slice this bad boy open and start getting into it. I did post about, for those in the Dragon Squad, they were doing, like, giving keys away to some content creators. So if it is of interest, that link should still be in our chat. You didn't see the, it was, um, kind of in the back, closer to where um like the tabletop games were not all the way back there obviously but it was like more in that vicinity the i'll be honest i probably wouldn't have spotted it initially because it was kind of hidden but i had a meeting with this other company that their name is i can't think of it right now but I had a different meeting with a game that was like Dark Souls like. And I was trying to find the booth and their booths were actually like connected, like right next to each other. And I saw this game and I was like, wait, is this the game I'm looking for? And I like stopped at this booth first and I was like talking to the guy and he was like, do you want to try the game out? And I was like, I think I have a meeting with you guys. And I already sat down and like started playing it. And then I looked at the title of the game and I was like, wait, no. I didn't have a meeting with you, <laughs> but this is cool. And then, like, I talked with the dude and everything. And then I realized my meeting was at the booth next to it. Um, but their signs were, like, on the same banner thing. So I didn't realize which game was which side and whatnot. And I didn't know until I, like, sat down. And then I was like, this is definitely not the same game. But car keys. Wait, what are you saying? You had a tough work day today, but I know you're going to. Oh my goodness, stop. Every, listen, everybody's things that everybody's dealing with, it, it's not necessarily about like which things are harder or whatnot. Like everybody goes through different problems and different struggles in their lives and it's hard to compare anything. So please know that I appreciate you all being here so incredibly much. And, the, and if you've got stuff that you're dealing with, like that, that, that is a priority as well. Good night, Mom. I love you. Thank you for being here. Um, what a ploy. Hey, I think I have a mini with you. That's a way to get in. Listen, I didn't do it on purpose. I thought it was, like, one big booth. Because sometimes there are booths that'll be one company, and then there's multiple games from that same company at the booth. So when I saw the banner, and it had both titles up there, I was like, maybe this whole setup is the same company and then i sat down and i looked at the game and i was like no this is not at all what 
I because like I knew what the other game looked like. I just forgot what it was called. I just knew the company name. I forgot what the game was though. Because a lot of times when I like schedule the meetings when it saves to my phone, it'll the the meeting will just be like either the name of the people or the company, not the game. So my brain was just like, whoops. Either way, these people were really cool and they sent me a care package. <laughs> so <laughs> we made it in. So we've got some stuff to look through. Okay. Okay, it's all good. Don't don't come for me like this was part of my plan. It wasn't. Alright, so the first one we got this cute little patch. This I got a pin. Oh, it's this one. Now I have two. They gave me this at the booth. This like cute little my light is blinding through the bag. This like little beer pin, which I think that's like the main guy that you play as. This little patch. There's like a lot of stuff in this bag or this box. We've got a bookmark. I really like the artwork for this game too, which is what like drew me to it. Like I said, it makes me think of like little nightmares. And it's kind of like a platformer looking style, which also made me feel like little nightmares. Some stickers. Cute. They're like matte finish too. I like it. And then we've got, what is this? This is like sealed in a little special secret envelope. And cut to bits is the uh, the company too. I feel like I shouldn't be opening this, even though that's like what it is for, but like, <laughs> why is it sealed shut so heavily? I'm like, can I do this nicely? I don't want to rip anything. <laughs> what is in here? Ooh, what is this? Oh, these are some cool prints. That's pretty cool looking. They're like nice cardstock. Oh, this one's kind of creepy looking. It's like a more realistic, like here. Makes me think of Sweet Tooth a little bit. I don't know if you guys, isn't there like, I think there's another season of that coming out soon. And then this print, pretty cool looking. Also, welcome in Austin, how are you? Okay, those are all the prints that were in here. I was like, why they need to be in this like little secret envelope? Made it feel like I shouldn't be looking at these. All right, we got that, and then let's see what else we have. We had a headache. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, we have a couple of signed posters. This one I think is signed by all of. The, like developers and such which is really cool like why wasn't this in this secret envelope you know what i mean like that's so cool and then we have this post oh it's a double-sided so it's got stuff on this side and then this side that's pretty cool i really like the artwork for this it's like spooky looking oh this one dude kind of looks like a like a witch doctor this guy that is so all of like these weird masks are creeping me out but they're really cool and then there is this comic which that is really cool. And it's even in like a cool comic sleeve and everything. Oh, my dad would be disappointed at the fact that I'm taking it out of its sleeve. <laughs> Hi, Chaotic. How are you? Ooh. This 
pretty dope. It would have been cool, like, if this, they had some of this. I mean, I know this is, like, a special box. But it would have been cool to see some of this at PAX, too. Oh, my God. There's a goat in here. Ella, goat. Is goat in chat right now? We've got goats. Surviving to a day to remember. Hell, yeah. Day to remember is so good. This is some cool artwork, though. <laughs> and right on cue. <laughs> Thank you for the goat biddies. Right on cue. But yes. That is a comic, which is so cool. I love when games get creative and do like extra media for stuff like comics and things like that. So cool. Especially for an indie game where like they're just starting off, you know, to go this extra mile with all these things. I think it's really cool. And I'm doing okay. As okay as I can be right now. And then we've got one more thing. We've got this, like, box that came in there. So let's see what's in this box. Little box. And then we have... Oh, I think this is a wallet. Dude, look at this. How cool is that? Oh, you are cordially invited to the town of Rainy Brook. Little like business card in there. Yeah, this is like a little wallet. How cool is that? That is so cool. Such like interesting merch designs for sure. It's like quality too. Dude, this is such a cool Love like that. little box of stuff. They really put together like a cool release like box. Considering I think this is, I'm not sure if this is their first game or one of their first games, but. This is dope. I'll take pictures. Of that. I'll take pictures and like post this to my socials and stuff so you guys can get like a better view of everything. But I wanted to do that little unboxing with you guys, at least here on stream. So you guys can all get the first look at all the stuff when I, I look at it. Because I could have done an unboxing off stream and just recorded it. But I was like, this is more fun to do it with all of you. So. Hmm. I'm doing okay, Justin. I'm doing okay. But how is everybody else's day today? This is fun. Thanks. It's just, it's just like kind of chill, like low energy, or chill stuff tonight. That's what I'm. That's the vibe. I'm just kind of big chilling tonight, going through the motions of how I'm feeling and what I'm up for. Love the outfit. I got my my ghost face shirt on. I went to um I went to the movie stay with my dad and and my brother and we went to go see if I don't know if any of you guys have seen that yet but it was like am I not turtly enough for the turtle club turtle use razor leaf dude I was debating on if I just clipped myself saying go full turtle or if I use that sound, and I went with that one because I feel like there was other parts of it that I could clip that I could make into more turtle stuff if requested. So, <laughs> even Steve Carell is, he is the voice of like the main imaginary friend. And, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do DVD. I I'm probably just gonna do like try out Venture to the Viral, and that's probably it. Because I'm, like, not feeling super up to anything right now, to be completely honest. So, I'm going to just do a little bit and see how I feel. But, yeah, it has Steve Carell in it. Also, hi, Mark. Um, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Be brutally honest. It was kind of bad. <laughs> Which, like, when my dad looked up reviews for it, he was telling me, 
some people give it five stars and then some people said it was like god awful i don't think it was five stars i don't know if i would say it was god awful but it's not a movie i need to watch again i guess i could say if that helps at all which i was very disappointed in because like i love ryan reynolds and there was like a good cast of people but i feel like they just didn't know what they wanted to do with the story also high verse so they just kind of bounced around a bit and i don't know it was weird <laughs> Like, there was parts of it that were cute, and I liked it, but in general, the story was just kind of like, um, that didn't make sense. Yeah, it definitely felt like a, a rip-off of Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, especially considering the main imaginary friend, his name was Blue, and in Foster's, the main imaginary friend's name is Blue. There was also an imaginary friend that was a banana with a sweatband on which is just like the banana and the sweatband on that like Cartoon Network had in so many commercials for a long time and then had on Gumball and stuff. Like, so I'm like, you 100% pulled that from Cartoon Network without giving credit and not being as good because it like, and there was like, a retirement home for the imaginary friends that nobody had anymore, which made me think of Foster's, the Foster's Hall. Like, it, it very much so a very clear... I can't even say it was inspired by it, because, like, they I, they don't give any credit to Foster's from what I'm aware of, so it's just a rip-off. And it was just, like, not a good one. I would have rather have them literally just done a live-action remake of Foster's and made their own story out of that. But also, hi, Kiku. And guys, can we get a shout out for Kiku Lala? I, I, I just want to thank you again for yesterday. You, you seriously, you brought so much love here and your community just went absolutely crazy. And I know that's because you hyped them up and you talked to them and stuff. And I'm just so appreciative of you. I was like telling Bobby about you and like how you really made my night and I'm just very thankful for you. So thank you so much again for yesterday. It was incredibly appreciated. Um, What show? Um, Hi, Meat Shield. I was talking, I went to go see the movie If today, which is a clear knockoff of Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. And it was just kind of bad. <laughs> like, I mean, I would say, like, watch the movie because it was cute at points, but, like, you definitely don't need to spend money to see it in theaters. You can wait for it to be released. It's kind of a movie. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was a little disappointed because I was looking forward to seeing it. And it was just like, I don't know, it was just kind of not great. Like Ryan Reynolds was like barely funny in it. Like to be honest, the movie in, as a whole was barely funny. I thought it would have more cute jokes in there and it was just kind of... Eh. I thought the ending was good. But aside for the last, like, 10 minutes, the rest of the... I feel like the first, like, 10, 15 minutes was good, and the last 10 to 15 minutes was good. Everything in the middle was kind of like... What? <laughs> you know? But... It's worth a watch. But I don't, like, don't get your hopes up for it, unfortunately. Because I thought it looked cute, but I was, like, a little disappointed today. I want to see Inside Out, too. I really like the first Inside Out. So I'm I'm very much so looking forward to the second one. I also just love Pixar. So anything they come out with, I always look forward to. Because they have the cutest movies. And there's just so many of them that I love so much. So definitely looking forward to that. I think that's June or July when that's coming out. I'm not sure offhand. I think somewhere around there. Honestly, I don't remember. What else did I want to see? They had a couple. All the trailers in the theaters today were like kids movies. They have like Garfield coming out, which I don't care. Like I. Why we're still making Garfield movies and shows. How many do we need? Like, I've, like it's I've already seen this. So like that I'm not really excited for. 
Um, and then what else? There was something else that I was looking forward to. Another like animated kids movie that I can't remember now. My brain is just melted. He meets his dad. I I know. I saw the trailer for it. I've seen it a couple times. I don't know. It's just kind of like. I don't know. I never watched Garfield and was like, oh, I wonder who his dad is. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's what it was, Rico. Despicable Me 4. Dude, it's like you read my brain. I have never been much into the Despicable Me movies or like the Minions movies. I know they're like really popular. I personally think they're just kind of eh. Um, but this new Despicable Me movie actually looks pretty decent. And it looks like cute. So the stick will be more for it actually does look pretty decent. Nothing will beat the Garfield and Friends show though. Yes. That was was that the one that was on Cartoon Network, Garfield and Friends? Or right? It was Cartoon Network, or was it even Boomerang? It wasn't Boomerang. It wasn't that old, right? It was just Cartoon Network. I remember watching that when I was younger. It was on around the same time as, um, wasn't it on around the same time that A Pup Named Scooby-Doo was on? Did you guys ever watch A Pup Named Scooby-Doo? I used to love that show to begin with. Got you. So then it maybe it got pushed over. I feel like I, I think I remember watching it on Cartoon Neck, but it might have pushed over to something else. Jack Spicer, Jack Spicer, Samurai Jack, and I don't know how to pronounce that word. I'm butchering it. Showdown. I never really watched over that. That is, that's a username. Did you pick that out yourself? Alrighty then. <laughs> Dude, Code Lyoko was good. I used to like Code. Did you know that Code Lyoko is a French anime? Ji Aulin. Got you. Little bits of it when you're a wee lad. Really? Yeah, it's a French anime. I, I forget where someone told me this, but yeah. Ah, I love, yeah, Cold Lyoko was so good. I loved, I really liked, um, did you guys watch Totally Spies? Totally Spies was good. I was on it about the same time as Cold Lyoko. It was like Cold Lyoko, Totally Spies, the Hi Hi Puffy Ami Yumi show. All around-ish the same time on Cartoon Network. Dude, Cartoon Network just has so many good TV shows. Not so much nowadays. I, I mean, I don't really watch kids shows nowadays because I don't have a reason to. But, like, even as I was getting to, like, late high school and I still was, like, watching stuff, like, Welcome Cartoon Network and whatnot. To I feel Rift. like even that was still going downhill. Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon and stuff. Elysian, thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream, love? We picked up your broadcast from beyond the stars and have arrived at your station after traveling far. Through space and time, we've made our way on peace. And in peace, we come to you. <laughs> we shouldn't say. I don't know why I got like a British accent halfway through reading that, but you know what? We're it's it's happening. I still watch Pokemon, and I consider myself a brony. Do you? Hey, I mean, I still like Pokemon, but I just don't watch it like frequently. Also, hi, old Mad Hatter. Welcome in. You know what's so funny? I think it's hilarious you say that you're a brony because I remember when I was in like middle school, high school, one of my closest friends, her dad was a brony. And her dad was like very, very old school, hippie, like long beard, long hair, like tie-dye clothes like when you think of the epitome of like a woodstock hippie that was her dad exactly as he looked and yet when you went to their house in their bedroom he had a ton of like my little pony plushies on their bed like like her parents tons of my little pony plushies 
and I was like, I can't tell if this is weird or cool. I'm not sure. <laughs> Hi, Jack and Lord. I'm going, I'm, I'm doing okay. How are you tonight? First one back, first one back in almost a year. Oh my goodness. Organizing, cleaning. I was working last night. I'm very sorry to hear about your step down. Thank you. You've got lots of love coming my way for you during this time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you all so much. And um, I know I said this yesterday, um, but I did have someone message me. It, I, and I was saying this to my mom too. Like I posted that some of the posts I made, I said my, my dad passed away on like Facebook and other ones where people know me personally. I like, and here, you know, I've specified it's my stepdad because I do have two dads. But I I feel like some people have this notion of like if your parent is a step parent, they're like they're on the outside more, they're on the outskirts or they didn't mean as much. And I didn't want like my stepdad is as much my dad as my real dad is. So the word is honestly interchangeable. Like they're both my dads and I call them both that. So for anyone that says if you say dad, you say stepdad, it's it's all one in the same to me. I just want to put that out there because I did have someone message me and like apologize for using the wrong wording. And I was like, no, like I use both. <laughs> oh, so much. I mean, my my stepdad, he like him and my mom got together when I was three. So I yeah, I call my stepdad by his name. I don't, like, but he knows that, like, I refer to him, like, other people, like, talk about him and say he's my dad, so. But it's, like, my parents, like, split, and then immediately my, like, got together with both of my step-parents. So I have my stepmom and my stepdad, but both of my step-parents have been in my life since I was, like, three, four years old, so I don't really have any memories, like, my stepmom came in like a year later than my stepdad. But like when I think back to my longest, oldest memories, I only have like one or two memories I can think of prior to my stepdad being in my life and us living with him. So like he's been my dad my whole life. Just the same. You know, it's like not any different. Exactly. And I, I know that it's for some people, because like I did have some people reach out to me that like they don't have a good relationship with their step parents. And like when they say like this is my stepmom or my stepdad, they do it to make sure that people know that that's not their birth parent. And I don't want to do that because like. I, I don't have that, you know, my all of my parents are one in the same. My mom, my stepmom, my dad, my stepdad. They're all my parents. There is no differentiation there, you know? And, you know, I used to always, when I was younger, like, I mean, having divorced parents fucking sucks. Don't get me wrong. It's like one of the fucking worst things ever when you're younger. But now as an adult and I look back on things, I realize how, you know, how lucky I am to have so many people who love me. And to have such a big blended family, like, because I have two extra parents of family added in. So I have so much more family, which makes me have a huge family that I, I'm, I'm so incredibly grateful for. But <sighs> Sorry, that was just a little tangent. But yeah. <laughs> he was, he was. Hasbro is probably the longest lasting following in American animation. Hasbro does? Wait, what? What does Hasbro animate? I was young. I used to think step parents, siblings were your evil side of the family until I met some people with actual step parents. Muggle stuff that style remained undisclosed. Yeah, and I feel like same thing with my siblings too. Like my um like my stepsister, there is no differences from my stepsister to my half brother, like to my full sister. I only have one sibling that is like my full sibling that has both parents the same. All of my other siblings are either step siblings and then my brother is my half sibling. But like, 
I don't see a difference. I've never in my life have I ever been like, this is my stepsister or whatever. Or this is my half brother. No, I just say this is my sister. This is my brother. Like, there is no, at least in my family, I know everyone's family dynamics are different, but at least in mine, there is no difference. It's all the same, you know? I know some people are like very adamant that it's, yeah, the evil side of the Did family, but it just doesn't work that way for me. Of insanity. We have a stream, baby. What are we naming our child? And thank you for the sub. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The company that owns ponies, Transformers, and among a ton of other... Wait, is it really? I didn't know it owned My Little Ponies. Oh, shit. My aunts, despite one being adopted in the 70s. Yeah, it's like family is family. I, I don't care who is blood related or not blood related or whatever like if you're my family you're my family it is what it is like <sighs> i'm starving but i'm here and i can't oh i already opened the package if you were talking about the unpack it the unboxing i already opened it um i did it in the first like half hour stream <laughs> I got a package from this company called Venture to the, or from this game. Um, this company, Cut to Bits, sent me uh, like a care package for their game that dropped today. And then we're going to try the game out. Because it just came out. I don't know if it has a category on Twitch yet. Let me see. It does, actually. Okay. It does have a category. Hi, Kissy. How are you, love? Yeah, we're gonna do just kind of like a really short, like, chill stream, but that's why I wanted to, like, open that up and at least play the game and stuff, because I have been looking forward to it, so. I know. I know. Normally. <laughs> I normally do. Fire already wants us to open a Pokemon card pack. I got you, boo. Just showered and now you're feeding Corvo and vibing with you. Oh, thank you for coming in, Kissy. I appreciate it. The game, it's called Venture to the Vile. It uh it just came out today. It just came out today. Hi Pilsy, how are you? Energy. Bronzer. Let's see if this like god tier pack gives us anything more that's good. Haunter. This, ooh, this is just like a regular card, but it's really cool looking. Iron Threads, look at that. Also, Pilsy, check out my new animated uh, emote. Reverse Hollow Snom. Or Reverse Hollow Scyther. Oh my god, dude. It's a Torterra, dude. <laughs> it's a turtle. <laughs> it's a turtle. It's a Torterra. It's a grass turtle. Dude. <laughs> we have a new animated emote and we have a new bit alert for grass turtles. <laughs> what is what is the emote that's in, or what that's in chat? I I got a turtle costume from Ace cuz he was trying to make me feel better. And I, it was very random. And we hit 500 subs last night. So I put the turtle costume on. And that gif uh, is what emerged from me wearing the turtle costume. Yes, that was the weird costume. Dude, of course we get a Torterra. Of course we do. Why wouldn't we, right? But yeah. The new bit one is 387 bits. And uh, you too can go full turtle whenever you please. It's a great time, I swear. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fire, thank you for the pack opening. First pack opening of the night. You need to rewatch yesterday's stream. It's already up on my YouTube if you want to watch the VOD. Or, I mean, you can watch it here on Twitch. Or you can watch it over on uh, 
on my second channel on YouTube, which we've got over 500 subs. So now we're we're shooting for a thousand, and we just got to get the the watch time, and we can apply for a partner on my second channel. Hi, rainbows. I'm doing I'm doing as good as I can today. Doing as good as I can. When you were speaking about, it, I was expecting something worse. It's not too bad. I mean, it's pretty weird when you just come home from like crying for a whole weekend and that's on your doorstep and I opened it up and I was like, what the hell is this? So it's kind of Am weird. I not turtly enough for the turtle club? Turtle usually storm. <laughs> Thank you, Vicious. Thank you. <laughs> But yes, that is our new sound alert. <laughs> we buy in a rat, we take ninja class, we order pizza. Maybe. You know what? It's a slippery slope. I just need to get three other people to be turtles with me and we've got a whole squad. It's all good. <laughs> No, it was even worse when I first took it out of the package because there was fluff in the front of it. So it made me look like very lumpy because the fluff in there was like very sporadically stuffed. And it was way worse. So I took all of the fluff out of the front and then stuffed it into the shell backing because luckily it had zippers on the sides, which was nice. So it looks a lot better now than it did when it was first out of the package. I took a, I was with Bobby and Bobby looked in and Bobby's like, what the fuck is this? And then like, I took pictures of it and I sent it to my mom to get a good laugh out of her too. And she was just like, what even is that? <laughs> uh, sorry, I think about it earlier than normal. Dude, honestly, I've been feeling so tired too. And it's not even like I'm doing anything really, but like my body's been waking me up earlier than normal. And, like, I have woken up before my alarm for the past three days. And by before, I mean, like, over an hour before my alarm. And I'm just staying up. And then, um, I've just been feeling tired. I mean, I'm just, like, mentally exhausted. And I've been crying a lot, which, like, takes so much out of you. Too hot outside. It's ruining sleeping time. I feel you. When I got home, it was so hot. I just, I had my windows open. I just closed them and I put like my uh my AC on for a little bit just to like cool the air off. I didn't need to do it too much because it gets cold quick, but it's just a little bit. Now it's like comfortable, you know. Comfortable. Campbell, thank you for that lurk though. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. <sighs> All right. How many of you did I get to yawn off of that? Because it made me I Dude, I got the yawns. I had the yawns yesterday, too. Boop. Hi, DJ. How are you, love? Ugh. Yeah, I've just been feeling extra sleepy. But yeah, I guess we'll, uh, we'll get this game queued up and we'll try it out a little bit. See what it's all about. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Where's this game? I'm playing it on PC. I'm not sure where it's available. I think it might potentially just be on Steam. I'm not sure. Let me look it up. Um, platforms. I think it's just on Steam. I think. I'm pretty sure this is the first game from this company. It's an indie company. So. I think it's only available on Steam. So for those that don't play on PC, I do apologize. But I think that's the only, only place. I'm not sure. Um, But yeah, they hooked me up with a, a code and everything, which is really cool of them. So. 
I'm like sliding. Yeah, it's like very old Victorian inspired looking, which is pretty cool. So we're just gonna chill. We're gonna try it out for a little bit. Like I said, I'm probably gonna do a shorter stream tonight, so might end around more noonish. Um, I asked them if it was horror because it kind of looks horror based, and they said it's like horror inspired, but I don't think it's super scary. Like I said, it feels and kind of looks like Little Nightmares, which Little Nightmares is technically horror, but like it's not scary horror. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like I'm going to get jump scared and things of that nature. Oh, it's so loud. But it gives those type of vibes, for sure, you know? Oh my gosh. Every game, why do we do this? Every game is like... Games be so loud on launch, and it's like, why do you do this? Okay, volume. Where is my... There, it's better. Always, yeah, so bright and so loud. I don't know why it's not showing, like, my mouse. Unless it, you don't use your mouse for this game? I don't think I do. So I don't think I use my mouse at all for this. Which is very interesting. Um... that off. Take off camera shake. I don't like that. Sanjay, thank you for that lurk. I appreciate Right? The music is nice. How does the audio sound now for you guys? It's good? You started Days Gone? Wait, have you never played Days Gone before? It's your first time playing? Oh, that's such a good game. I really like Days Gone. I really enjoyed it when I played I played it. Well, actually, I streamed it years ago, back when it first came out. I, I think it would play because it has controller options. Yeah, it doesn't use a mouse. It's just keyboard. Oh. Little Kitty Big City. I did download that because I saw that it's on Game Pass. Are you a movie? Oh. The, the voice acting is just Ooh, like... Uh, <laughs> <in it. laughs> what? I like how it's just like random gibberish. The character Boozer, like the biker friend? Yes! What about him? He looks so grown up. Just like your father. Before young, you'll be a strapping lad just like him. They don't have a budget for actual voice acting. I mean, listen, we got companies like Nintendo that don't be doing voice acting in their games. I don't think it's about that. It's just like, what? He looks like Dilly. Like, if they make a show movie, they need to cast him for it. Uh, Boozer's awesome. No. Also, hi, Lemonade. How are you? Now, run along before I get sniffle. 
You don't want to be stuck in the house on your you special day. Seeing. I saw a gathering outside. I'm sure you and Ella will want to Le, see her. Make sure to be back day. before dusk. The deer masks are giving me a little, uh, like, Alan Wake vibes. Dude, it is. It's like a 3D on a 2D. For sure. I'm okay. It's okay as I can. <laughs> Dra, just missed the window. They're throwing rocks at somebody's window? What a bunch of buttholes. Miss Squirrel will be sorry for confiscating my slingshot. Okay. Can I not go past them? <laughs> they keep them for their Yeah, I thought that they have them for the picture. I mean, all of it. The picture photos, all of the merch. Like, they don't ever have their masks off. All of the people in town wear different animal masks. Like, even this guy, Ernie Sparrow's got a bird mask on. Hello, little buck. So today is your mask day? I mean, young stag now. I remember when I was a little fledgling, too. It's a little weird. Like, what is that? Is that a squirrel? <laughs> Teacher squirrel! Why, hello, dapper little man. Pre-furry. That's the timeline. You know, old Victorian, and then the furry era, you know? Oh, We're writing... <laughs> you have to see Ella tell her to come to class. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. And like, this guy's oh, a doggo? <sighs> This guy, it just makes me think like Plague Doctor when I see like crow masks though. Exactly, no, no, there's no between. That's the progression. And the router and the modem to fry? Wait, did it really eliminate? Oh my gosh. Graves of the miners fill up the weeping willows. Today I will bring you a new solution. Proudly funded by our benefactor, Mr. Muskrat. Battery power clean and simple. No need for candles, gas, or charcoal. Okay. Hold on. Ooh. I am going to turn the volume down just a little bit more. I have to get a new box tomorrow. Jeez, that's the worst. Is she a fish? Tilly Trout. Hello, Stag. Isn't it a fine day? A fine, fine day. I woke this morning and thought, Tilly, you are a lucky woman. Just to be alive, to be able to see a new day, meet so many kind people. Like you. And you're a lucky fellow, too. Oh, okay. Okay, Miss Fish Lady. Is she another deer? Oh, that's Ella! That's what I'm looking for. Well, well, aren't you looking every bit the noble stag? Such majestic antlers. Don't think that means you're getting out of critter fishing. Dr. Crow won't pay unless we have a full catch for the day. Let's go. Dude, whenever there's games like this that do, like, gibberish for the voice acting, like, I- how do you say those words without laughing? You know what I mean? Like, I- I would be so hard for me to take myself seriously if my lines were literally just, like, gibberish. Yeah, she looks like a doe. Well, because she's female, yeah. You've got a head start in the bullies. They're being a pest in town. Check on the traps, will you? Left them overnight. Don't want the critters to starve, eh? I know you don't like them, but rats are more scared of you than you are of them. Come on, brave stack. Let's have a look. Wait, which way are we going? This way? The music is like... Peaceful, but also a little creepy. Here's one. Nope. 
faded and empty. Next one's further down. What's the matter? Are you out of breath again? It's nothing. This is terrible critter fishing. Maybe Porky's rotten pies aren't good bait after all. They're not that nice when they're fresh. Oh. Doe, a deer, a female deer. Dude, look at me. I got jumps for day ups for days, man. Parkour, parkour. Hell yeah. Well, that was disappointing. Still better than digging in the Black Hills, eh? Just a minute. Or is it? Oh. None of them are actually animals. They just wear these masks. And I don't know why. Also, hi, Texas. How are you? We will get to the den soon. Ooh, that was cool. Not even data on how long. It just came out today. Cardiologist? Wait, I'm sorry, what? I don't know. Do you know a cardiologist? Yeah, it just came out today. Um, no. You don't want to end up... Oh my gosh. <laughs> you don't want to end up in the drink. Your mother would string me up if I brought you home muddy again. Let's go, but mind where you step. Okay, Brenny, don't fall. Brenny, don't fall. Ugh. That was slick, you know? That was slick. Ooh, can I get this thing? Oh, wait. Is you all right? I keep forgetting about your lungs. Sorry. Fiddlesticks. The roof's caved. What's up with my lungs? I got weak lungs? What's up with me? Fix the roof. I'll do the traps. I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. What does that mean? Well, yeah, it definitely looked like a platformer. Like I said, it gave me Little Nightmares vibes. What have we here? The little buck has some nice new horns. Shame about the lungs. Sniff. Get it? Because they're feeble, his lungs. Is he like a walrus? And what is he? A rabbit? What is that? Walrus Jr. Catch up our new den. Shoddy builders, if you ask me. My father could find me twice. What? Find me one twice the size, but with a proper roof. 24 7 your face. Me too. I would have problems breathing. I mean, <laughs> when you put it that way, but I don't think the breathing problem. It's his lungs that are the problem. It's not that he can't breathe. <laughs> your little goat isn't here to protect you. My little goat, you say? Go on, I dare you. Sniff. Flush J to a check? Oh. Oh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, no. Oh, he beat my ass in one slap. And he broke my horn. Wow, that sucked. Damn. Dude, he just, like, straight up one bitch slapped me. I should have went for the little guy first. The little rider tried to hit me. We should teach him a lesson. I reckon we should bash this place. Right, Eric? Sniff. No, Eric, don't agree. Hang on to him. I want to have a good view when I wreck it. No. Oh, good. Hey, give him a good Ow. kick. That hurt. That hurt? Yeah, it better hurt. Wait till my father hears about this. Okay, Draco Malfoy. I'll send his boys over to give you what? what? Are you actually going to do something or just cry to your daddy? Eric, let's go home. You're for it now. Run along, little boys. Are we not playing the deer boy anymore? No, we are, but he just, like, pushed him. He didn't kill him. Calm down, Pilsy. He's still alive. Okay. I'd call them clowns, but they aren't even funny, and Ooh. I like clowns. Willie got he really that. got you this time, didn't he? You're okay, let's stop list. talking about it. Hmm? Okay. Let me sure. I heard a crack. Yeah, he cracked his horn. Not his neck. Calm down. Calm down. I cracked my horn. <laughs> I broke my antler, bro. <laughs> My gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pilsy over here thinking I'm snapping my neck when I'm falling down. Good lord. 
How long are we staying in this shack? What's going on? I don't know. Why is this shack like breaking down over time? How long are we in the shack for? Oh my god, we're adults. Well, Can't we were in that shack a job. very long time. Let's check the uh, traps. I've seen those funny things growing too and the sounds. I do not want to know what's making those sounds. That was a very quick passing of time. Well, I am a full-grown adult now. They're like, these kids beat my ass. I'm gonna hide away in this thing for the rest of forever. <laughs> Whoa, Mia. It's ruined, ugh, and it smells Antonio? foul. Go check the others quickly. I'll meet you further in. We can, we're, we can jump higher because we're taller. Look at us. Look at me making moves. Dude, it's so sunny, it's blinding me. Blinded by the light. It smells foul. Jeez. I don't think I caught anything with these traps. Why you gotta be blinding me like this? The, like, lens flare taking me out. Is that all of them? Nothing at all? One last one to check. This doesn't feel very safe. Let's be quick about it. Another one busted. What the hell is that? Antolulu? Let's go home. I'd rather not find out what can do that to a trap. We can use the old bridge over the river. Yeah, what the hell is that? This is creepy. I can't look at it. I need to know more about the animal people. Right? And then what was that noise? Oh my god, and we're going, and we're running, and we're running, and we're sprinting. Sprinting! Sprinting! Better start sprinting! Oh my god, that looks like a very unsafe bridge. <gasps> that was a bit rickety. Yeah, so get off of the bridge, Ella! Oh my god, this bridge is gonna break when I'm on it. Oh my god, it's gonna break. Oh my- Oh my god, it's gonna break! No! Dude, did I not call that? Are you kidding me right now? Who built this bridge? That was the worst, con like the worst constructed bridge I've ever seen. Where am I? Where the fudge did I fall? Hot fuzz. Everything looks cute and fun and nice. And there's some dark stuff behind the scenes. Ooh, I don't know if I've ever actually seen that movie. Oh my god, what is that? Bones of small creatures, like, strewn about. Oh, that's delightful. Oh my god! What the shit is that? Oh, hell no! Oh my gosh. Nope, I don't want to be here. Chupacabra? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Let go of me! What the shit is that? What is that? Cult of the lamb all grown up. Now my, my antler's broken, my arm is hurt. Dude, I'm all yoked up.
Oh. What's a high miter? Dude, what? I'm just like dying? Excuse me, where am I? Quite a roar! Ah, he wakes. It's the Dr. Crow guy. Take this little tonic, it'll work wonders. Oh boy. We jump higher when we do gaming noises. This is true. That's how the thing works. That's why I said he's definitely a plague doctor. No harm, no foul, lad. How are you feeling then? Quite a bit better than we thought? Hmm. A very special case indeed. No one has ever returned from the vial. You fr your friend Ella, sadly my young rat catcher, was never found? It's been a month. Did you know that? Ella's been gone for a month? I'm afraid we shan't see her again. The vial has seen to that. Wait! What the shit just grew out of my arm? Need to take more samples when subject is resting. Okay. Hit the dummy with that disquisitive arm of yours. Oh shit! According to their time last, probably right. Dude, look at this thing. Look at my arm. Gory heavily, breathes heavily through his mouth. He doesn't seem to blink. Oh my god, this dude is reminding me. There was some show I used to watch when I was in like elementary school. Well, no, it was a movie. Like an animated movie. Like a couple of different like isolate episodes. I can't even remember what it was called, but there was a little like Igor dude that like breathed like that and it was real creepy. Oh my god, I can't. It's like in the depths of my brain. I can't remember what this show is called. Dr. Crow has appeared to lock the door. I'm trapped in here. Unconscious for a few days. He's been missing for over a month. He shows contamination of the vial. However, it's unlike any other form we have seen. Very curious. You seem to be on the mend and could help remedy a certain incident. Right? You know what I'm talking about. It is Dr. Frank. It was like some sort of like Dr. Frankenstein animated movie but it had like a couple like smaller episodes it wasn't like a t full tv show oh my gosh i can't remember oh, it was no. but it came out in like the early oh, 2000s because no. i watched it when i was in elementary school so it was around like 2001 2002. dude he does be breathing so heavily <laughs> okay can i leave yet okay cool It was, it was, yeah. I can't remember. I'm glad that you know what I'm talking about. I'm not alone in this. I don't know. Son of a gun. Ooh. Got a little bit of lag. This is, uh, this game only released today, so there's probably gonna be a bit of lag. Oh, A bit of lag here and there. Before, like, those first patches come out, you know? I care. Thank you for the lurk. Ooh. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going. There's a lot of stuff. Have you seen them? I can't find them down in the dark. Oh. Hello. 
I'm taking Mr. Leaky for a stroll. Mr. Leaky. Or since I lost Mr. Fuzz, I've been ever so lonely. I saw him in the woods. I just had to make friends. I remember playing with Mr. Fuzz out by the park. I don't know where he is. We're having a splendid time, aren't we, Mr. Leaky? Oh, so that's how I get, like, my missions, is by talking to people? That's cool. Mm. Sigh. Mm. Hello, I cannot recall one last. Mm. I clapped eye- I clapped eyes upon you? Why does that sound weirdly sexual? I don't think I want you clapping anything on me, Wilbur. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> what is wrong with me? The hospital, gracious, are you planning to leave? Yes, those who leave seldom return. <laughs> we were caught in caught in 4K, my man. Down past the lanes, and when you do, I shall surely be there, thinking of her. Sigh. Well, that sounded real depressing. What is this? Right, we were caught in 4K. Oh, that's how I saved my game. Okay. So I wonder if there'll be more, like, little tents around like that? It's cool, though, that you can kind of, like, move forward and backward so it's not just, like, super linear. Even for a platformer, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of going forward and backwards, which is really cool. Like, I don't even know where to explore, because there's so much going on. <laughs> Pushing up the daisies. Goes to show you never know what the cat might drag in, so they say, don't mind me. I'm just watching it all play out. I see a lot of things from back here. Not much use for a postman with no posts. I used to be in the thick of it all. Messages here and there. Old habits are hard to give up. So off to the hospital, yeah. Hard head out east, but was nothing but heard out east was nothing but vile. Safer chat sometimes. Don't want to be a gossip, but it passes the time. You might bring a story or three. Dude. Don't they know I don't know how to read? Come on, man. How are you gonna give me a game where I have to read the vo the voice lines? Don't you know I don't know how to read? Oh, I almost just went into that water. I don't know if that was gonna be bad or not. Oh, it's the fish lady. Ah yes, can the you a shoe a shoe pony? What? What? I are you on drugs, lady? Cause what? What did she just say to me? <laughs> this guy is a butcher, but he is... He's... He's a cow! <laughs> what? Come on! What? You don't look like a member of the NAG Appreciation Society. What's today's password then? Oh, I see. The silent treatment. Sling your hook and don't darken our doorway. Dude, what the fuck? He butchers pigs and not cows, so that makes it okay. Are these all the people that died? Sluggish liver, tear out the torpid. And with Rachel's taunt, the rest is unreadable. Are these all people that died? What happened? Very long list of people who have vanished into the vial. So I'm the only person to ever come out from the vial? Well, shit. Ronnie's tonics, they're wonderful. Make you feel ten times the man you were. Also tastes like berries. Way better than Rachel's slop. <laughs> Jesus. Access to Stanley Road is closed until further notice. Oh, I look, look, I like slide down. Look at that. Eek. Eek, eek. All right, I guess we're going this way. Hmm. 
Miss Badger is very unwell from all the horrors, and Miss Badger is now sleeping until it's all over and gone away. Dude, that, like, that's a chamoed. Like, there's a bunch of shit happening, so I'm just gonna go to sleep until all the shit that's happening is done. Honestly, though. Toonsylvania? Oh my gosh, hold on. That sounds familiar. That is what it is. It is Toonsylvania. <gasps> that is what I was thinking of. 1998. I said 2001. I was close. So it was like a TV show. I had it on like... A v I, either, I think it was a VHS or like a... Maybe I had a DVD of it. So I never actually watched it on TV. I like had the box set of it. I'm pretty sure it was a VHS though. That just had them like chunked together. No, that was it. I can tell from the picture. That's 100% what I was thinking of. Dude, how did you find that? They, they were like shorter episodes, but whatever I had on, I think I had it on VHS, whatever I had it on was all of the segments like kind of smushed together. So it felt like a movie, I guess. Oi, Oi. don't you know it's rude to eavesdrop? You ain't meant to be here. I do have a hunger and some venison could be what I need. <laughs> Mr. Finch is correct in his uh, assertion, assertion, not assertion, I'm getting too ahead of myself, that you are not an appreciator of the equine properties. <laughs> Leave us be forthwith. You say too many big words, Mr. Finch. Listen, I don't know how to read. Due to very unnatural circumstances, the Natural History Museum is now closed until further notice. Dude, is everything closed? I can't go in anything. Everything is closed. To the lanes. Did you- so you watched that? Or you just googled it? Dude, they ask us to read and they make it hard words? Son of a gun? How dare you? I do like that these little tents are like how I save. That's cute. The doc said someone would come this way. I was expecting someone a bit more strapping, but at any port in a storm A. Wouldn't recommend going out there, but rather you than me. Hang on. While you're out and about, can you check in on my Kevin? Okay. As long as you don't touch him or make eye contact. Over at my house, number 37, down the lanes. Don't dally. People don't tend to last long out there. Okay. Kevin! No, I don't remember watching it. I Like I said, I feel like I only watched it on... What the heck are these things? Oh. Interesting. Oh. Oh. What are these like weird little rat dudes? could jump on that or not now i can see that i don't jump on that but those like thingies dropped on it so i was like maybe but no right the art is nice hi master bumpa how are you i really like that was one of the things that initially drew me to this game because i like the art of it can i grab this mushroom oh i got a vile mushroom i don't know what that does the leaves are evil
This rat is evil. I don't know what these, like, little thingies are, though. Oh, what is that? That's a human face picture? I don't think any of them- they're all humans! But they wear, like, the masks. Oh, they're just- oh, is that chicken? A visitor. I will have to fire that butler, I had no idea you were visiting. My, aren't you a strapping young fellow? But no- wait, there was one with no mask? Did I miss it? Oh, Where are my manners? I'm Nagmus, Enchanti. A pleasure. Welcome to Oak Towers, my humble abode. You are not properly attired? Okay, are you gonna give me something, lady? Um... Do I... No! Oh my god! Dude, I did not think I was landing that. I didn't even see that. What is this? Oh! What are these, like, little pieces of things I'm getting? A torn wing? Oh, oh! Oh god, what is that thing? Dude, that guy did not want to die! What the heck? Well, okay, I didn't actually fall. I did like a big jump. So, I guess that was kind of different. What the shit is that? Oh my god! Oh my gosh. Dude, what is that? What is that? Hi, Meeple. What the hell is that? Okay, I don't know if I want to fight whatever that is right now. Maybe I can go a different way, because that does not look like the move. What the shit was that? So I have to go to the hospital. Is that this way? No, I can't go up that way. 2D version of the spinning tomb in Elden Ring? Wait, what did that say? Thing's gonna swipe. Okay, I am like all out of heals, which is not good. So I like need to play very safe right now. wondering what are these like like small claw and like different miscellaneous like animal parts 
I don't know what I'm gonna use those for yet. Yeah, small claw, reeking pot, or reeking pelt. Who's out there? Took on a big of work. I'm cleaning. I got a mess up here. I can't get myself down again. Maybe. Do you know what? Being up a chimney is still better than boring Miss Squirrel's class. Uh, do I have an inventory? I don't know. If I do, I don't know what the button for it is. I've got to have some sort of like... There we go. Okay. This gives me my quests. And then there are my items. Okay. So I've got items and quests. Um... It appears to be night bloom. It didn't look like I can use them. It looked like I would be able to use them at different shops when I found different people or whatever that would like either buy them for me or I can use them or something of that nature, but I'm not really sure. Hi, Uncle. I love you, 3000. How are you doing today? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, when I save, I fully heal. That's nice. Like, Hollow Knight. Is that how it works in that one, too? I only played a little bit of Hollow Knight. I was kind of bad at it, because I'm... Not the sharpest tool in the shed, you know? I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Major hurdle for your project. How about yourself? How you doing? I'm doing okay. As okay as I can be today. Feeling a little down, but I'm okay. Oh my goodness! A little massive up. Thank you for continuing with the gift sub and, uh, um, Changing it to a tier one paid sub. Thank you. Thank you so much. Metroidvania now? Oh, I could. I could use a big hug. It's just been kind of like a low energy down kind of day today, you know? Like, not that it was a bad day per se, but just like a. I feel aggressively unmotivated to do anything kind of day, you know? Hi, King of Hockey, how are you, love? Yeah, I'm feeling very blah today. This feeling, yeah, like, in terms of, you know, being sad and upset about things, like, I, I had my moments earlier today, but, I don't know, I'm just feeling like crap, and I suspect I will feel like crap for a long while, unfortunately.
I don't know why it's ticking. I thought something about it was gonna like turn off, but I'm not really sure. That was also, I was like, I don't know why this is doing this. Oh no! Jesus, that shit hurts a lot. This is all process to get through the bad times. This is just, it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a long time. And it's not, oh? Oh, did I have to get here before that? Are you kidding me? Did I really get here right as it stopped? Are you joking? Really? I figured it was some sort of timer thing, but like... Really? Right as I get there? Oh, shit. I thought I would have a little bit more time. I did not. Oh my gosh! My timing is not particularly good here. Jesus Christ. No! Wow, why am I so bad? Wait, so what did that even do? So, that was it? Thank you for the lurks, guy, and thank you guys all just for the like the positive vibes. Oh no! Dude, I've got one little health sliver. I gotta really play it safe right now. Oh shit! Things went a tad wrong. The cases keep on coming in. Patient team do sprouting or blooming. I don't think there's a word for it. One of the lads, Mr. Hare, has grown so huge we can barely restrain him. Nearly took off my jaw last time. Someone dropped a kidney tray on the floor. Two weeks now, we're overrun. Something is growing downstairs. Planted some foul seeds, I say. It's gone to the dogs. Uh, I locked up and shut it all down proper tight. That bottle by time for an escape. I smashed the batteries. No one's coming in or out of there. I left the wall up to stop me. Power for the music. Makes the subjects more docile. Um, uh, I don't want a repeat of Mr. Hare. Okay, can I go back to that save spot? And then come back here? Because I'm, I'm gonna die. And that tent wasn't far, right? I think it was this way. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Where did that mouse come from? No! Oh my god! Are you kidding me right now? Okay, I still have the key. Dude. 
I literally, I literally said, I don't want to die. And then I walked into that freaking thing. You, are you kidding me right now? Like that mouse was not there two seconds ago. Y'all saw that, right? Like you saw that mouse come out and personally like attack me like that? Yeah, now we got revenge. Luckily, I didn't lose all my progress. I still had the key, so that's nice. So even though I died, I don't have to redo all that crap. So thank God. The music keeps them, like, calm. So I need to keep the music on at all costs is what is... Oh no! Oh no. I picked up the battery, but at what cost? Enemies reload when I respawn. Yeah, chip away from the mouse and the the brain stream. Oh, oh, thank you. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being here. I truly do appreciate you. They're gonna come and attack me, aren't they? Oh, oh my god. Can I get, like, stronger? Oh, no! Oh, Jesus Christ. I get up there is the question. I know, I keep... Listen, I wasn't trying to do it like Mario Bros, but I didn't know what else to do. I didn't try to jump on their heads on purpose. I was trying to, like, jump over them. Okay, I used the battery. Oh my god! What the shit is that? Oh no, that's the bunny! That's Mr. Hare! Oh hell no! No, no, no. 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 I have decided... No. It's gonna be no for me, dog. Thank you for the follow, welcome in. It's gonna... It's gonna be a no for me. I don't know how the heck to get up there. So high mad had her feet, honestly. Dude, it had no arms. How do I get up here? There's like a thing up there. It does. Everything respawns upon heels. That's quite annoying. So yeah, if I go back. How do I get up here? I can't like really jump these things. I don't know.
Well, I can at least go to the elevator that was over here. Maybe that'll eventually drop me down somewhere and I'll be able to do everything. Oh! Is that not left mouse button? Left button? No. Left bumper? I don't have a bumper. I'm on mouse and keyboard, my man. Q? Okay, it's Q. <laughs> So definitely, yeah, it's got controller capabilities. Even though it's for Steam. Hello there. Hi. Which I wouldn't be surprised if they have plans for other platforms. It's just, I know when I was speaking with some of the like companies at PAX, they were telling me it's a lot easier to get your game on Steam than it is to get your game on, like, PlayStation or Xbox or Switch or something like that. Execute a back step? Ooh. <laughs> Mended with strange plant-like growth has become a specimen. He's grown too large for the word orderly to manage a fascinating subject. Admitted to the asylum as loud noises and visual stimulation causes violent tendencies. 19 days after admission, he is now beyond control. We've locked him away in one of the padded rooms. We can barely manage the word, let alone causing the trouble troubles he's causing. He's in solitaire in his cell. That way, no lights or sounds can cause any more violent outbursts. Well, that's not good. Oh, this is like spooky. Oh no. Dude, he's got no arms. Dude, it's like a boss fight. I can see very Alice Madness returns in this. Whoa, whoa. Oh my God. He's got kicks for days. Dude, that was my opening. I fucked up. Oh my god! was that honestly i kind of i i the the back jump only works if i'm facing towards him because i was like screwing myself up a little bit there i did honestly the back jump was not really helping me much it was making me jump into him accidentally more Oh. 
I messed up. Dude, how many jumps are you gonna do, my guy? Oh no, dude, what is on my legs? Um, am I gonna get more powers? Unnatural velocity absorbed. A comforting but terrifying feeling courses through my body. Press space while midair to do a second jump. Ooh. Oh, I can jump higher now. I can jump like the bunny! What did you miss? Um, a boss fight? You missed the first boss fight? Now we unlock double jumping. How dare you take a break from stream while very important things are happening. How dare you. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm so kidding. No point in sugarcoating it. It lost the whole wing. The Elastor Shock Tower was ruined after Mr. Hare's last treatment. No, sir. He didn't take too kindly to having his head cooked. We've seen the specimen lamps in over a week. No one can even get close. There's something terrible festering in the morgue. I don't even want to think what's down there. Good news, we managed to pacify Mr. Hare. He's gone over to the volume, so I don't mind leaving him on his own. <laughs> you're good. You're good. Oh. Hello there. Hi, party. How are you, love? Hi, Barry. How you doing tonight? Oh, 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 whoa! Like slug dudes. I don't know what I use these sparkly things for yet. I don't like this. I don't like this. Why are the lights going out? Why are the lights going out? I don't like this. Oh my god! This lady's blocking everything. How many hits does this lady take? There's 
Maybe I just don't even fight her. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shizzle stick! I'm trying. I'm struggling. Right? What in the Silent Hill nurse is this? Oh, but hi, everybody. I hope everyone's having a good night tonight. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm actually quite enjoying this game. It's called Adventure to the Vial. It just came out today. Oh, it's another nurse. <laughs> A very emotional child. I can't really read this very. I have to read this super fast because that lady's coming. Oh no. She's literally in the doorway. <laughs> like I said, when I saw the set packs, I thought it looked very cool. Oh, this is the padded room that he was in. Or one of these, at least. Yeah, like I said, I saw it at PAX and it looked spooky and it was I was like, this is right up my alley, you know? Okay, ooh. a dangerous game here oh my god yep don't do that don't do that it's dangerous game here i like can't get up that high though i effed around and found out oh i found out all right because I thought maybe I could, like, you know, Mario jump- Oh my god! Off the wall? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm- I'm- I'm getting away from this place. I'm- I'm getting away from here. This is not the move. <laughs> I need to not be near this thing. Clearly, I am not cut out for whatever this thing is. I didn't realize I could jump above. Can I get up here somehow? No. Well, they're gonna, uh, you know what, I might as well just heal. Well, we effed around and we found out, so. Yeah, I have no idea how long a playthrough this game is, because, like, Pilsy, right, you said you looked it up? This game only just came out today, so. Hey, 
Ain't much to go off of. Oh, oops. Don't walk into that. Well, Brandy. A horseshoe. Oh, it's some sort of collectible. Okay. If there was a sure, yeah. Well, I know it's not a cute story game. I knew it had elements of horror. Just, I just didn't know exactly how. Um. But again, I only played like barely five minutes of it at pack, so. Did I get a battery? Is that what I just picked up? No, I didn't. I just flipped the switch. Wait, but it dropped one of them. Son of a gun. And it just dropped that one. Oh wait, that was the no. I did. I need that one. Oh, son of a gun. I can't reach it. I'm bad. And then there's this lady. I'm gonna go back this way and see what's over here. Well, this is where all the lights were, like, shutting out. Oh, oh, well, okay. I thought I was on that. I guess I was not. Also creepy. At least these things die in like two hits, so they're kind of easy to beat. Some of those other things take like so many hits. I feel like it's got I gotta be this way. Because over there was like sort of a dead end. I've hit this woman so many times. respawn it's almost like not worth wasting my time to fight them because I'm gonna have to 
fight them again anyways. I like cannot for the life of me get across that, so that's not an option. I'm not sure what I use that stuff for. The little like glowing blob things. I don't know what that is for yet. It hasn't really told me. So honestly, I don't particularly know. According to the reviews, it took them nine hours to find Tokarasso. There is, I quote, a uh, metric shit ton of side quests and can go for 20 plus hours. Gotcha. I was going to say, I'm kind of just venturing all over the place. So I haven't necessarily been following like a strict path. But, yeah, I'm not sure what that does yet. Oh, oh, eh, oh, oh, eh. Honestly, it's got a little bit of, like, little lag bits here and there, but for a first-day drop of an indie title, it's relatively smooth, you know? Back up to the streets, I think, where I'm needing. Back and forth in the map, and now they have double jump, probably earlier place in the map. And yeah, exactly, are now accessible. So as I unlock probably new skills from whatever I do... Oh, this is a bad time to lag. Oh no. Oh, come on. Dude. C can I not be lagging right now? Are you- Dude! What? That was the worst time! Why am I lagging on the water like- Oh, you fudging fudger. I'm back here. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me, man. That was the worst time to just have lag. And I was just talking about how it wasn't that bad. And then it was. Son of a gun. Good night, Sass. Thank you for hanging out. Oh boy. Well, alright. I guess we'll try that again. How much? I don't know how much it is on Steam. I would just like probably around 2030-ish in that range. I feel like that's like a relatively standard price for... Oh, here's the fish lady again! I'm back up here! Okay. So where the fudge am I supposed to be going again? Because I kind of lost sight of stuff. Return to Dr. Crow and find Ella, which I still haven't done. You made me touch the water and Song of Horror. And remember what happened? I died because of you. <laughs> Ten percent off right now. Thirty dollars is probably around twenty to twenty-two. That's what I figured. Somewhere in that range. I feel like most indie games. That's like kind of ish the standard price. This 
not bad, especially when there's a lot to do, too. Backtracking a little bit here because I gotta get back to where I was. <sighs> yeah, I'm feeling tired. I do not want it to bring me all the way back there, so I gotta save here. Yeah, I still don't necessarily know what getting those little sparkly things like does. No. Oh, there's this dog thing again. But I got the double jump, so maybe I can get past him now. A little easier. know what like any of this stuff I'm collecting necessarily does for me you know upgrade shop there might be somewhere i'm not to totally sure it didn't really explain that to me something is gonna let me jump off of these No, I can't jump that. I need something else to be able to go that way. Okay, so going to the harbor is not an option right now. It's definitely, uh, it just, there's a couple of different games where there's like a double jump type of option. I don't even remember where Mr. Crow was. Did I go this way? Because I need to find him again. I can't do more jumps. It doesn't like physically let me. 
I know. I don't remember. It was he he was in the castle in the beginning? Is that where we saw him? I don't know. I'm like a little bit confused as where I am. Yeah, I'm assuming that's something that I'll do later. Was he in here? I don't remember. I have this game and I'm excited to see you play it. How do you like it? I am liking it a lot so far. Did you play it um, at PAX, Ash, when you were there? I uh, I spoke with them at uh, PAX, which is how I like... Did I ever tell you to Oh my goodness, Madison! Yes, thank you for the gifted sub to Ash. I appreciate you. I um, uh, And thank you, Ash, for popping in. I appreciate you. I saw it at PAX and then I spoke with um, the developers when I were there. Yeah, I spoke with the developers when I was there. And they, uh, they reached out to me and, like, sent me a game code and this whole care package that we opened on stream earlier and stuff. Which is really cool. The, um, the, the developers are, like, super, super nice people, so. I always, I mean, and I know you do too. Always love supporting indie game titles. And then especially when it comes from people that are so kind. I wish I had, like, a map, though. Because I don't totally know where I'm going. I know these, like, show directions, but, like... Bro, that's not helping me. I'm kind of stupid. That shows... The infirmary this way. Is that where I was in? Or was I in the schoolhouse? I think I went to the schoolhouse, right? Not that I can see. And I still don't know what those little blobby things do. I haven't gotten to a point of figuring that out yet. Right? That's what I thought. I really like the art style of it. And it's like a spooky game, which is right up my alley. So it initially caught my attention because it was reminding me a little bit of um, uh, Little Nightmares. I feel like this was open before. Did I like break something? Oh, are you kidding me? He was hiding behind that tree. This is all I've got. I've got a journal and I've got items. This is all I got. I like how you said, do start. I'm on a keyboard. There's no start. It is tab, my friend. Yeah, I'm like collecting all of these little thingies, but I don't really know what they do. I am not particularly sure. Oh, there's another... Horseshoes seem to be collectibles. Yeah, there's things with like a bunch of these. So I gotta be able to use these for something. I just don't know what that something is yet. Oh, you lint liquor. Okay, hold on. Where am I going? <laughs> Son of a gun. Is 
Is I feel like that croak I was in that like mansion from the start, right? Did he move from there? I don't remember. No, he was in was or was he he was in the infirmary? Bro, I don't remember where the farts I found him. Chat, you guys are the one you're supposed to remember these things for me, since I don't remember. I feel like I bumped into him a little bit later on, right? Yeah, but that- listen, okay? He could be anywhere. Am I gonna have to start drawing some maps? Right? The art does look really cool. Maps for the next giveaways? Pilsy, you better have mine framed and on your fridge. And yes, that's right, I want them framed on a refrigerator. I don't care if that doesn't make sense. Okay, the infirmary was this way. No, that's just like an apartment. Wait, did I go here before? Oh, I did, and this was like too strong. I know, I didn't- oh, hello? Hmm. Oh. Do I know it's rude to address oh. your betters? Look, just leave me alone. Haven't had time to converse. Oh, uh, okay, oh. weirdo. Listen, I'm trying to save, I'm not trying to talk to you. Hi, all good, how are you? All right, I'm probably gonna just play for like a little bit longer and then um, I'm gonna I'm gonna head to bed a little earlier. I'm gonna hop off a little bit earlier tonight. So I'm gonna find the doctor and then I'm gonna I'm gonna call it there. So I'm feeling real sleepy. I'm just real like, you know. Dude, did that thing just replicate my exact noise? What was that? Y'all heard that, right? Oh, rainbows, thank you for the biddies. Y'all are the sweetest. I appreciate you all. Oh, shit. Thank you for the hundred biddies as well. And if anyone's uh, trying to live their best full turtle life, we have a new bit alert. 387 bits, and you can live your best turtle life. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, we had a sub goal yesterday, and I put on a turtle costume. And it was, uh, it was something. he was in the infirmary unless he's one of the upper floors which is very possible oh I don't know where he is I thought he was in here 
He has an urgent task to fulfill. I woke up on his table. Does that mean he is in the main house? He is, isn't he? He's not in the infirmary. The elevator took me to like the lower uh, portions. It said I woke up on his table. So he's definitely in that main house that I started in. Which is probably why I was supposed to do that when I spoke up. Because I woke up back in that initial area that I started in. Now it's all starting to make sense. I went too far with things. Oh, what's this way? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh yeah, it was the time yesterday. If you missed stream, um, you missed, you missed a mixture of crying and a mixture of turtle time. So it was, uh, it was something for sure. <laughs> one thing that is cool is I can play this game with one hand. So I can just relax and chill. I mean, as long as I'm not fighting anything. Am I not pretty enough for the turtle club? Full turtle. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies. Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? You are. You're turtly enough, Eshes. Thank you for the for the bit. Is this not where I wanted to go? No, I went too far. Son of a gun. I got distracted by the turtle stuff. Thank you guys, though, for another hype train. I appreciate you. Oh my god! I thought we had the pathway forward. We did not. I'm blind. I don't know how to read. Zane. Did we say to you yes, we did as I am C Billy. Zane, thank you for the hundred biddies. I appreciate you. Uh, you guys are it's 387 because we were I was like, is there any turtle specific numbers? Turtwig's Pokedex number is 387. So we picked 387 for that. That's why when I pulled that Torterra card earlier on stream, I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, that's his Pokedex number, so that's why we picked that. Be 3, and if you forget the numbers at any point, you guys can do exclamation point new bits. And those are gonna have all of the bits that I have not added into um, the bits panel yet. And then when I do update the, the panel after I get a certain amount, then I'll add all of those in. But I'm currently working on the old page. If you do exclamation point bits, uh, I'm currently working on writing what each one is on there. And I have it on there, so you know. If you do exclamation point bits alerts, that gives you all of them. Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? Dude. I look so ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god, Master, thank you for the pities. <laughs> Iconic? I listen, I'm okay with that. Bits alerts. There we go. There. So that list, I'm currently working on updating that list to have what each thing is. I don't remember what each thing is. I gotta start filling them in. Oh, as I remember. So. But. I mean, him, your turn. Yes. Gory, forget about that thing I asked earlier. And you have the medicine. Fantastic. Yes, things are shaping up quite splendid. I see you brought back more than just what was asked. Yes, take a seat over at my table. Is he gonna do some extra. S oh my god! Excuse you, Mr. Man. I don't think he said like the others. What the shit? Besides, I don't turn the tra no! traps on Not during the day. Also, Isaac Oh my gosh, fishes! 
You didn't have to do five gifted there. Oh, and you gave one to my friend Ghosty. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so, so much. I freaking love you guys. Thank you. Thank you a million times over. <sighs> Thank you all so much. So, so, so much. Dude, Dr. Crow, I'm talking to my community right now. Can you calm the fudge down? I want you to do something. You're radiating so much vile, hardly good for the belly, so breathe and think of your legs and the pit. Am I gonna have to... Is this where he's gonna... Press enter to select mutated viscera? Select the wall creeper skill and hold to evolve? Oh, that's... Is that what I use this stuff for? Oh, that's what I use this stuff for, to upgrade my body. That sounds really weird. Oh. Okay, now it's all coming together. Crow should have tried to kill- Yeah, he did! Yeah, he did! Okay, going through the gut down, uh, space. Yeah, he should have tried to kill me. Getting me my character. Oh my god. Can you need to be in the tourist because for the years there's a new sensation in town. It's called Streaming Iconic Brandy Turtle. Oh my god. Well. You guys have opened the floodgates. If Ace is listening, I guess this means we need more weird-ass costumes in chat. That doctor is displeased, eh? I don't think he needed me to clean down here. I don't think he needed me to clean down here. Are these all of the Igors that he's, like, murdered over the years? Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much. We still got two minutes on this hype train. Y'all are amazing. When the hype train ends, um, that's when I will, I'll, like, stop the game for the night, and then we'll, we'll get ready to raid out. Is any raid? I wouldn't have her easy. Far too valuable. <laughs> okay, sure. If you made it, there's no need for hostilities. Our old boy, no harm done. A valuable lesson learned. So you know Gray's knees. Now all that's been taken care of, let's take a good look at you. Let me see what you brought. Crivens. Oh my gosh, y'all are something. Found a specimen of pure vial. The more you bring, the more I can understand. And this works well for you, little dear. I can give you more fortitude. Go ahead and place this specimen into the apparatus. Yes, yes. Am I the specimen? Am I going in there? Here you go. Bits from surveys. Free to me. Now for you. Oh, thank you. I do those surveys too, so I know the feeling. Thank you for the videos. I appreciate you, Meeple. Lieutenant Beagle, I guess the medicine worked. A treat. He healed faster than you did. Find him in the PlayStation, head up north from the town fountain. I have seen him already. You do those too? Yeah, I shared it with you guys a while ago. I get the emails for them, so anytime I get the email, I just do them instantly. All right, let me get to my next safe spot and we'll wrap things up. Ooh. Let's 
something to fly. Doing quickly. Oh yeah, as soon as I, I get the email, I do them instantaneously. There hasn't been as many recently. Wait, is this blocked? Not to, not to I lie. Ah, Can't pass until I had a chat with doctor's orders. Wait, what? Can't miss it. Oh, the station, red brick. Oh, oh, there's the PlayStation back there. Okay, I'm just gonna save over here. Much more. Sp yeah, it's been much more sporadic lately. Okay, I'm gonna assume that I'm good to quit since I saved there. So, we're gonna do that. We're at 520 submaroonies right now. Thank you guys so much. This was a lot of fun. I actually really enjoyed this game. Um, which I, I figured I was going to, but it was, honestly, it, there was so much going on, it really distracted my brain tonight, which is what I needed, because I've just been feeling down. So, honestly, this was the perfect game. I know we didn't do Elden Ring this week, and I apologize for that, but I just really was not feeling up to it. Um, we'll see what, uh, how I'm feeling tomorrow. I do go up to Bobby's tomorrow, so I don't know. We'll 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 see. Yeah. If if I'm, you know, having another day tomorrow, maybe we'll do more of this game tomorrow. I don't know. Nice little mix into the rotation for now. I don't know if I can do anything that's like a lot going on. I feel like my brain is just not in that like place at this moment, if that makes sense. Um, anything that I have to, like, really, especially, like I said, Elden Ring, I just was not, yeah, it was just not the mood. As much as I've been wanting to play Elden Ring, I'm just, like, not there. Also, I got, I had shorts on the past two days, some buggies bit on my leggies, my leg is itchy. Oh, I hate it, I hate it. My arm is itchy. Buggies are out and about, and it sucks. I did not agree to that. <sighs> oh, I'm tired. Oh, because I'm ending early. My friend Shannon is on. That's who we're going to read. We're going to read out to my friend Shannon. She is, um, she's working on some art. Um, she tables out a lot of, like, artist alleys and stuff. I actually had the pleasure last year of being table buddies next to her at a con that I, uh, I tabled at as well. And she's working on some, like, has -been Hotel merch right now, which is really cool looking. So I never get to raid her because she always ends before me. But because I'm ending early tonight, I get to raid into her. So we're going to go send some love over that way. So we're going to do that. But I just want to thank you guys again. Um, Thank you guys for understanding, like, my schedule is a little bit fluctuating right now in terms of, like... How I'm feeling and stuff. And I know a stream is a little late. Or ending early or whatever. But you guys came through. And we've had good numbers tonight. We're playing a brand new title. Like we we haven't had any like crazy raids or anything. And we still hold good numbers. We had such good conversation. And <sighs> I really appreciate y'all understanding that like. You know I might not be the same Super loud, outgoing, like, constantly chatting right now. And, um, I just appreciate you guys being here for me. So, thank you. I love you guys. I really appreciate you all so freaking much. I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, I think that's all. I don't think I have anything else to say right now. Thank you guys for letting me do this little unboxing with you all and whatnot. And um, hopefully I see you tomorrow. Like I said, I'm going to keep um, keep you guys posted in the Discord with how I'm feeling. I do have to go up to Bobby's tomorrow. And if I'm just, like, tired once I get there and everything, I might just, like, say fuck it and call it for the week. So I don't, I'm not sure where I'm at yet. Not sure where I'm at yet. But, um, yeah, if you are new here, uh, Fire just put all my socials in there. 
got another Pokemon card pack before we go. Okay, I can do that. We got another temporal uh forces going on. I can do that. But uh yeah, if you are new here, feel free to join the Discord. Or if you're not new here and you haven't joined the Discord, join the Discord. It would be really cool. And uh here are all my links and I upload to YouTube every day. Um just a heads up right now, I haven't felt up to filming YouTube videos. So I'm kind of just posting a backlog of stuff. Um, so there is going to be some, like, I'm taking a little bit of a pause on, like, my has-been hotel reacts and hell of a boss and stuff. Other than, I think I have two hell of a boss episodes to edit, but I don't have any has-been right now. Because I just haven't been feeling up to, like, filming videos. So I'm kind of just putting a backlog that I already had. So you're going to see a mix of, like, some older stuff and some newer stuff, so... I know you guys understand, but I'm just putting that out there. Energy. A Meltan. Nuzleaf. Nincino. A Rockruff. A Reniculist. Uh, a Mist Energy, like, in the middle of the pack. Interesting. Saw's Buck. A Reverse Hollow... Dun Dun Splurse. Reverse Hollow Zora. And oh, just the Hollow Dun Dun Sparse. No, oh, that was the first like dud pack that we've gotten of, of this pack, to be honest, where it's just kind of like nothing really special. I mean, listen, we can't have all bangers. We've been lucking out way too much on this one. I was bound to have a pack that was just kind of eh. It's... We got so many good pulls already. It was bound to happen. <sighs> but yeah, we'll call it there. Um, Let me start this right up before you guys do anything else crazy. And, um... That's it. Um... Oh, I wonder if she realized her thing is on followers only chat or not. Uh, but we're going to do a brandy raid if you're a sub. And if you're not a sub, you can just do the regular raid message, whatever makes your heart happy. Um, but we are going to raid out. I love you guys so much. And um, hopefully I see you tomorrow. I'll let you guys know. Dude, I'm itchy everywhere. I'm hating this right now. I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you posted. I keep updating everybody in the Discord. And then, obviously, if I don't post, I'm going live. I won't be going live. But I'll let you guys know. And, Pilsy, thanks for hanging out. I know you've been having a hard time, too. I don't know what's going on. But um, I was glad to hang with you tonight. So My mom, like, loves you. So since me and my mom are, like, going through a hard time, you hang in here. I don't know. It's just, like, made me feel better. So <laughs> anytime my mom talks about my chat, she mentions Pilsy. I... I don't know why, <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's it. Side note. Okay. I love you guys. I'm, I'm heading off and, um, I'll see you guys when I see you. Okay. I love you. Good night, everybody.